Hello, I'm Andy Brassel. Welcome back to Guardian Sports La Liga Talking Points. Plenty to discuss from the weekend just gone in Spain. Quite a few rickets being dropped by some notable names and Real Madrid starting to look more and more comfortable at the top of La Liga. Also, the spotlight today is on an interesting new arrival with David Moyes becoming the new coach of Real Sociedad. Remember, you can click to subscribe by clicking the little G up here at any point and you can flick forward to any of the segments by clicking the little tabs to my left as well. And you might want to today if you can't wait to hear how David Moyes is going to do in San Sebastián. This is the best of La Liga. It was a bad weekend for Valencia, for Sevilla and for champions Atletico. Valencia actually a little lucky to get a point from their home game against Athletic Bilbao, really improving despite the fact they weren't able to have their star striker, Aris Adui, formerly of Valencia, to take back there and have a little go. They're unfortunate only to take a point from Mestalla. Sevilla were winning for a lot of their game against Loli Levante at the Sanchez Picuan uh, through Vitolo, but a terrible mistake in the last 10 minutes. From their usually quite reliable goalkeeper, Betel, gifted the visitors a point. Meanwhile, Atletico uh, took the lead at the Anoeta through Mario Mandzukic, but couldn't hold on. And then managerless Real Sociedad, as they were, uh, came back to, to win that game and get a much needed three points. And with Celta Vigo, who got that tremendous result at the Camp Nou last week, only drawing nil-nil with Granada, who aren't in great nick themselves, it makes you wonder. Oh, we were so excited about a real battle at the top, and that prospect is looking a little bit further away now. Maybe it just will be Real Madrid and Barcelona. Now, Real Madrid are still leaders, worthy and emphatic winners, 5-1 over uh, Rayo Vallecano, their near neighbours at uh, the Bernabeu. Uh, but it wasn't without a, a few little controversies. Uh, when it was just 2-1, Leo Baptistao for the visitors had a really good-looking goal uh, ruled out for an apparent offside. And then, when it got a little bit further down the line, the fourth goal by Karim Benzema clearly was offside by a couple of heads. Now, Rayo coach uh, Paco Jemez was understandably a bit miffed by this in his post-match press conference, saying Real Madrid didn't need any little helping hands, but it's really all going for them at the moment. Now, Suarez was brought on as a half-time substitute at Almeria, along with Neymar, and my goodness, what a substitute's bench that is. And Luis Enrique really needed to make a change because Barca were absolutely rancid in the first half. In Andalusia, they went a goal down to Tievi about halfway through that first half, and it was really deserved by the home side. And Enrique's been under a lot of pressure recently after those successive league defeats, of course. And Suarez really came through for him here. He worked so, so hard. He set up both goals, but that industry, I think, Think was the most noticeable thing of his game. The question of how he would fit in with this brilliant pairing of Messi and Neymar sort of overshadowed that, but now we realise that there's someone who's fully up to speed, he could have scored himself and he's going to be a huge asset going into the winter time. Yes, the deal has finally been sealed. It's Moyes, as El Mundo Deportivo had it. David Moyes has agreed to become Real Sociedad coach, the successor to Hagaba Arasate, who was fired last week. And the negotiations were quite protracted, uh, partly because Moyes wanted a, a longer contract. Um, he was looking for something a bit longer than the 18 months that he's actually been given. He goes through to the end of 2015, 2016 as things stand, but he's nevertheless the highest paid coach in the history of Real Sociedad on 2 million euros a season. And they'll expect something from that. And they know what to expect. Of course, they're looking at his work at Everton and they're hoping he'll bring some of the same qualities, some of the same British qualities as John Toshak brought when he first arrived in 1985, eventually winning the Copa del Rey in 1987 and having two more spells either side of, of Real Madrid. Now, La Real differ a little bit from their Basque near neighbours, Athletic Bilbao, uh, who, of course, only signed Basque players. That changed in 1989 when uh, John Aldridge was brought over and more overseas players followed. Uh, Brits like Dalian Atkinson, Kevin Richardson, uh, Bjorn Kvarma, of course, formerly of Liverpool, was uh, part of the side that nearly won the league in 2003. So it'd be interesting to see what David Moyes does in the transfer window in January, although he's not going to be able to have a lot of cash so he'll have to be quite canny and it's going to be a tough job because they're in the bottom three uh, but nevertheless it's a great platform to him to show that he's still an important manager. So that's it for this week. No previews I'm afraid because of course it's international weekend so La Liga goes into cold storage for a fortnight uh, but nevertheless please leave us uh, your comments and thoughts all the same. Any questions you've got uh, leave them below uh, in the comments section or just uh, tweet me at Andy Brassel 2 S's 2 L's. Don't forget to get involved with the other videos on Guard Guardian Sport, you've got Julian Laurent on Ligue 1, you've got uh, James Horncastle on Serie A and Bundesliga, of course, with Raf Honigstein. Click to subscribe and we will see you in a week.